Hey guys, welcome back to Gundam Breaker Build Guide. I'm your host MB, and there's a couple of weird things on the table this week. I'm starting off this video with a stupid news story for anyone who falls for the clickbait I put on this one. If you just want my usual Gundam news, skip ahead. Does anyone know what NFTs are? They're basically a one-of-a-kind Bitcoin with a stupid picture on it. That somehow combines everything I hate about scammy Bitcoin clones, with everything I hate about the pretentious art industry, with everything I hate about collecting Pokemon cards, everything I hate about low-quality JPEG images, and in short, I hate NFTs. They violate my principles so hard. Anyway, the reason I'm talking about NFTs this week is that currently a set of NFTs called mechas, which are AI-generated, randomly created images that sort of resemble Gundam or Zaku models, are currently trending as the hot shit of this week. And somehow it was so hot, it, it was so hot it crossed over into my normal safe Gundam space. Anyway, rich cat, fat cats are either trying to buy the ones they think will look the coolest, or bear the strongest resemblance to popular existing Gundams. Like, look, this one kind of looks like a pat labor. Anyway, that's it for the random news, but uh, please don't invest in NFTs. They're fucking Ponzi schemes to sell you a JPEG of Shrek scratching his ass for $50,000 when it's actually worth nothing. It's much worse than a Bitcoin, and it's actually way worse to the environment, which is already hurting. Anyway, if you think I'm wrong about this, try to change my mind. Let's talk about Gundam Breaker Mobile now. So this week we have a really, really cool new unit. It's the Gundam 00 Sky Mobius. Now, I love this thing. It's a really nice kit batch of the 00 Sky with even more crazy, hella cool shit. And it's got a great original paint job. Now, it's paired off against the giant Freedom Gundam, and the rates for both of them seem... better than average, but also not great. Anyway, I guess the reason they're better than average is both of these suits have a shit ton of parts, which makes them easy to pull. So, therefore, I got four parts and five pulls, and I'm happy with that outcome. I also got the beam rifles on the WO Mobius, which seem to be pretty good. And on top of that, I also got the giant Freedom Legs. Which has led to this being giant leg week for me. I made a pretty awesome unit with the weekly parts, and I also recustomized my phantom build to a giant leg version of that. So the charity suit this week is the Strike Rouge Otogi. I'm not super psyched for another Strike Rouge. The only big difference is the backpack, but since I powered it up and I fought it pretty well in the scenario mission, I can kind of gather that it's a melee based Strike Rouge to differentiate it from the previous shooter version. Other than that, I've actually been more into this game out of nowhere this week, and I'm actually having a good time with it for a change too. Since they gave us a bunch of extra free energy last week, I was finally able to beat the weekly event mission without stressing out, and I had enough energy to clear all the remaining free missions I hadn't done yet. So then I started to try and put the work in to try and get the purple upgrade gears. I got the middle shooter one, but damn it, they are really trying to make you grind your ass off to get these things. So it's probably going to take me a whole another month to get another one. Anyway, meanwhile, my shot attack right now is dwindling below 100,000, and that is driving me nuts because I really want to get it over that cusp and just have a huge amount of shot attack. Anyway, there's a new battle circuit this week. It's the first week it's out, so it's really easy. As long as you build a proper suit, I was able to win with no problem at all. There's just a few tricky word tag rounds, including supporter, which made me sorty out in a Gundam Throne unit. Lastly, there's a new clan multiplayer mission. If everything goes good, I'm hoping to get my clan together Friday night to do it. Let's say Friday night around like 9 p.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time. Is it better for you guys if we do it earlier or later? I'm kind of feeling later since it's October and the sun's like setting at 5. But please let me know if you disagree with me or if it works better with you guys if we do a different time. Anyway, I'm really busy this week, so that's life. All right, you guys, see you next week. Good luck. Bye.